Can I travel while my green card application is pending? This is a very important question. And if you are applying for your green card in the United States, then this information is for you. <laughs> everyone and welcome to the Immigrant Blueprint channel. If this is your first time joining, welcome. My name is attorney Ebony Anoforo and I represent clients in all 50 states and around the world with immigration law matters. On this channel, we share tips and answer frequently asked immigration law questions. Okay, today's topic is a very common question among individuals who are applying for their green card in the United States. And again, the question is, can I travel while my green card application is pending? And the short answer is, it depends. So now let's start with, what is a green card? A green card, also known as a permanent resident card, is a document that proves that an individual has permanent residency status in the United States. Now with a green card, it allows you as the green card holder to live and to work in the United States on a permanent basis. Now, in order to apply for a green card, you must have a particular immigration qualifying benefit. So for example, you can apply for your green card based on sponsorship from an employer, um, or you can apply for your green card based on sponsorship from a family member like your spouse, your parent, or your child. Okay, now let's go back to the main question, which is, can you travel while your green card application is pending? And the answer is yes, but only if you have been granted something called advanced parole. Now, as an applicant for adjustment of status, which means that you're applying for your green card within the United States, you will need to have a travel document if you plan to leave while your green card application is pending. So while USCIS is reviewing your application, they're adjudicating and trying to make a decision, you're going to need to have advanced parole. Now, most people applying for their green card through adjustment of status will typically apply for both their work permit and their travel document, also known as advanced parole, at the same time. Now, advanced parole is issued by USCIS, and it allows you to not only travel outside of the U.S., but most importantly, it gives you permission to return back into the country while your green card application is pending. Without advanced parole, leaving the U.S. while your green card application is pending could result in the abandonment of your green card application. Now, there are some limited exceptions for those individuals who are here on what is known as a dual intent visa, such as an H-1B or an L-1 visa. And a dual intent visa simply allows individuals to have both a temporary intent to stay in the United States with intention to also possibly pursue permanent residency in the future. Now, if you came on a non-immigrant visa, like a B-2 visa, which is a visitor's visa or a student visa, and these visas are known as non-immigrant intent visas, then you would need to apply for advanced parole. Otherwise, you risk the possibility of being stuck outside of the country in addition to losing your current green card application. So how do you apply for advanced parole? To apply for advanced parole, you'll need to file the form I-131 application for a travel document with USCIS. You would submit your application with your green card application um, or you'll apply soon after filing your green card application. It's also essential to note that obtaining the advanced parole does not guarantee that you will be allowed to re-enter the United States. Customs, Border and Protection, the CBP officers at the port of entry, they still have the final authority to either admit someone or deny someone entry. However, most people have no issue traveling and returning back with an approved advanced parole. So to sum things up, it is possible to travel while your green card application is pending, but you must have an advanced parole to do so. Therefore, I highly recommend that you consult with an immigration attorney to ensure that you have the proper documentation and information before you decide to travel outside of the U.S. 
If you would like access to more immigration tips like this, then you can go ahead and check out our online immigration resource center by visiting theimmigrantblueprint.com. We have articles and videos and courses answering many popular immigration related questions. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more immigration related content. And please share this video with anyone you feel that would benefit from the information that we've shared today. Again, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.